Hi, my name is Drew Simon. I'm applying for the 2012 America's Top Hooker. I'm experienced in both saltwater and freshwater. My saltwater experience, I spent three weeks in Jamaica where I fished with locals, built lures with locals, fishing for tuna, dolphin, barracuda. I've hand lined and spear fished with the locals in Jamaica for the same. I've also fished in Alaska for salmon, halibut, and rockfish. I've been successful in both catching numerous salmon and halibut. I also fish freshwater for bass, trout, panfish, and catfish. I'm a tournament bass angler, semi-professional. I've won three tournaments. I started competing in 2007 when I fished for three years in the college fishing series for ESPN and Fox College Sports. I fished at three national championships for Fox College Sports and one for ESPN. I have done more research for tournaments than what most of my competitors have ever thought about doing. I always look for an edge to gain over somebody else. I always want to win when I compete, whether it be from fishing bass tournaments or fishing with my family. I always want to win. I come from a middle of the Ozarks family where you grew up hunting and fishing as part of your life and a part of our culture. We were from a heritage where you relied on what you caught and what you kept. I've grown up fishing for substance since I was a little kid, fishing ponds for bass and bluegill and catfish. If we wanted to eat fish, we had to go catch fish. We didn't go buy fish. I'm from a heritage that that's how you did it. If you want it, you do it. I want to be America's top hooker. I'm from Springfield, Missouri. I'm 26 years old and I want to be America's top hooker. I want to do anything and everything I can to be America's top hooker, whether it's practicing off my bass boat in our driveway or going to the stream and fly fishing for smallmouth and goggle eye. I do anything and everything that I can to win and I will work hard to do it. I'm not afraid to work hard, whether it means getting a little sleep or working till it's pure exhaustion. I will do it until I can win and I will win. I think that you will find me a very tough component to beat. I do stuff that people only dream about. I work hard, I change things. I don't want to be like somebody else. I want to stand out and I want to win. If I'm going to win, I want to win by a large margin. I don't want close victories. The stuff I do for my fishing is the stuff I do to win. And I will win America's Top Hooker. As I said before, I want to be America's Top Hooker and I work hard for it. Just like I do my bass tournaments, whether it's flipping and pitching the targets in my yard, or building baits, building my own jigs or Alabama rigs. I do everything I can to gain an edge over somebody else. I want stuff that's different than somebody else. I build my own jigs because I don't like the quality and the standards and colors of the homemade jigs that you can buy. I want something that's different. I, have, I feel that difference makes the difference. By having more natural colors and different colors than everybody else, it's something different that fish aren't used to seeing, they're more readily to strike it. And that's why I credit all my success to being different than everybody else. I think by competing in America's Top Hooker, you guys will see that my strategies and tactics are different than everybody else's. And I am successful and I will be America's Top Hooker. As I said before, I am and will be one of the best you'll have on your show. The reason why is because I've learned from some of the best. Whether it be from making my own jigs, jigs that I can't buy, or colorations you can't buy, or making my own Alabama rigs because I'm not satisfied with what I can buy. I've learned from the best and I've learned how to build the best. I've built some of the best jigs you can come across, jigs that people swear up and down are more real than anything they've ever seen. Same thing with my Alabama rigs. The best has taught me how to build them. Three most influential people to me has taught me how to do this stuff. My dad, Shane, and a fellow friend, Kevin. Kevin holds the state record smallmouth and is one of the best lure makers there is. He doesn't sell to the public and nobody knows about him. And that's why he's one of the best. He builds stuff for him that catches fish when nobody else's stuff will catch fish. And he has taught me his vast expansion of knowledge. And from that, I've expanded on my own and that's what will make me the best. I have a knowledge of building and changing lures that nobody else has. I have something more valuable than a map or a fishing rod. I have the knowledge of what to do with the stuff that I have and how to make it better than anything else that anybody has. And I will be America's top hooker.